Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to get started on the G.I. Joe Classified General Hawk. Now, I've never owned one when I was a kid, so 6-inch version is uh, where it's going to be at for me. I didn't get too many of the cool V1 version of Joe's, but I was always happy with the ones I had. And uh, reading the comics was dope, especially because I read them later on. Obviously, I didn't read them as they all came out. I was too young. But I did read... Oh, oh man, I fell in love with G.I. Joe as a storytelling device. Hama has a way with with getting away with that for me. But I gotta say that I am in love with the Joe line. I love where it's going. I love the sculpting. And I love that even though this line uses and reuses a ton of parts, they still feel different enough that I'm enjoying the hell out of it. General Hawk is no exception, as his upper torso is based off of the style of Big Ben, uh, Snow Job, as well as Snow Serpents. It's just a matter of, you know, putting the unique parts on it with him is going to be the flight jacket it is with snow job or snow serpent it'd be the big puffy jacket but it's the same vibe the same same thing i think with big ben now i gotta say though this strap while to finagle it is annoying but it's well worth it and i love this version of the belt as we have our holster here on the sides i left the guns in so i uh, don't mind that but yeah i'm trying this new thing where i use my 35 in the beginning of the video because it has a, a better way of you know just as you can see, the focus is not an issue. It's uh, It was a lens and body issue as my framing is out of touch. And unfortunately, because cameras are thousands of dollars, I can't do that anymore. And I can't film on my phone anymore. I can't go back <laughs> uh, because my phone is full. But here we are talking about it. Now, articulation-wise, we have that new big drop-in shoulder, which is similar to the style of kind of like SH Fig Arts, where we have that rotating ball joint but still maintain our butterfly joint Ooh. hang on hang on hawk there we go <laughs> so yeah now i want to make sure we maintain the focus here as i test it all out here but as you can see i love this now my left arm does have an issue of getting stuck i've given it some shock oil but for true transparency i'm still having issues lifting it up and putting it back down but right now it's it's working just fine with some with some shock oil so we're going to see we also have our as you can see here we'll have like our seamless joint and we are double jointed as you can see my joints are still very very tight i can't even like even me like i can't even push that in but it's there for our upper torso movement we do get the the wiggle left and the right it's gonna be tough though but that under you know we have that under articulation there for the jacket it's still there and we still have a forward ab crunch but for hawk it's a little less than usual but it is there as you can see, I made a pot belly. <laughs> We'd still have our drop down hips and we can move our leg forward. We do have a double jointed leg. Ooh, my joints are super tight. <laughs> yeah, but we do have that double joint and mines are giving me all sorts of issues, even as I heated them up. So I'm gonna have to go back or maybe it's cause it's been cold out lately. We do have a boot swivel and we still have our generous ankle pivot. Now, I am a little worried about mines getting really, really stuck. So I'm gonna heat it up one more time but articulation wise oh no it was just that one knee so my left side has now officially given me some issues where it's the left arm and the left leg but i'm hoping we can uh assert that issue soon but as you can see here we can still get some poses even with our frozen joints but i'm gonna try to finagle some cool ones for you nope i can't do that because this kneecap is stuck which is a bummer but i'm gonna have to work on that but in the meantime it's clothesline hawk clothesline pummel the enemy i would love some hands for these guys these would be so good so as you can see here oh since we're here let's try to balance them since we can't get too many positions right see because i've been trying to balance out my table here he is looking cool but unfortunately i can't do much considering i have these really tight joints but accessory wise though I do want to talk about how I really like his bandolier and his belt piece. And we do get two handguns. They are different though. So look at that. Focus is focusing. One of our handguns will have an extra piece in the front. It's not a silencer, but I forgot what it's called. I'm going to call it an extra muzzle until I figure out exactly what it is. Because I can't remember. We also have the G.I. Joe star on there, which is pretty cool. And then we have a handgun here and this handgun seems to have an extended magazine which is pretty dope but yeah these two do look really really good together now 
On top of what General Hawk has here, he also will come with a helmet. But these are removable. You'll also get two sets of eyewear for protective, one to sit on top of your helmet and one to sit over his face, as you will have that, which is pretty nice. Let's get a quick look. Let's pop the head off. Let's get a quick look of it on his head, which I really, really like this sculpt. Look at this. This is really, really beautiful. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really like that. Next up, we will get a shotgun. In Fortnite, they would call this the pump action. Because obviously it has pump action. The name of it, though, I don't know the name of the shotgun, but it does look really cool. I do wish it was painted a little, like we had a little brown hair or a wash here for the buttstock. That would have been dope. And then this is, I'm going to take a wild guess, and I'm probably going to be wrong. But this is an M201 grenade launcher or something along the lines of that. But it could be a type of shotgun too, because I see the, the pump handle. But I'm going to assume this one here is a grenade launcher, because I've seen this before, and I've been studying stuff. I've really been trying, because, and this is a complete side note, but the history of guns is pretty crazy, and how people develop them. And I understand now why people have the, the habit that they have for guns because the history of it is really wild but i'm learning i'm learning i'm not too big on it though due to personal experience <laughs> uh but yeah this is dope but with all of that being said though now what we're going to do is jump into the size comparisons i'm also going to heat this guy up because i want to get him posed up i want to get him nice so i'll see you guys in a sec all right, now we're going to jump into the size comparison. The first thing I'm going to do is compare him to Big Ben. And the reason I want to compare to Big Ben is because Big Ben technically has a different torso and uh, longer legs. But as you can see, they still use the same arms and part of that upper torso movement. But I really like the idea of these guys uh, being close, if not the same to each other. I really, really like this design. Big Ben and Hawk teaming up is going to be awesome. I, I, I'm probably going to put these two together. I'm probably going to pair them. Next up, we'll do a Steel Corpse which I'm actually reviewing next, which is pretty cool because I'm glad I, I didn't have to search for these. So here we are with a steel corpse. Oop, let's fix that leg. Doo, 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 doo. And again, I like that all the G.I. Joes are different sizes. We don't have to have everybody at the same size doing the same thing because I'm a short dude and I hang out with a lot of tall people and vice versa. And it just gets really nice to just not all be the same, right? Next up, because in comics, Helix was an agent that worked directly under Hawk. Here we are with Agent Helix. Looking absolutely tiny compared to him. Next up, we'll do my main man Duke. Now my Duke is a kit bash between Outback parts and Duke parts themselves. In case you are wondering. So there you have that. Then we'll do Bazooka. So we can see what a slightly more bigger body will entail. Let's fix that leg and this boot. All right. So here you are with Bazooka. All right. Let's bring these two back. And I'm trying all of this on my 30 because it can't zoom. It's a fixed lens. So what I had to do is I had to scoot all the way back and really try to like make it work. And I hope it's working out and hopefully this will solve our focus issue that I've been having with my body and my camera uh, pretty much rejecting each other. <laughs> Not my body, but the camera body and the lenses rejecting each other. Here we are with a Range Viper. Here we are with a Valiverse figure, right? And again, Hawk just fits right in really, really well. So I love this. Next up, as we compare some other stuff, right? Here we are with Mezco Ichigo. I forgot to bring out some Hasbro stuff, so I apologize. Probably gonna try to add it in to the photos. So here we are with Mezco Ichigo. And let me back up just a tad bit more. Oh, I don't, I don't think I have any more room. There we go. So we can see how Ichigo kind of pairs out, right? Then we will do, ooh, oh. SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga. Always a plus and a must. As we bring our boys back out of retirement. And don't worry, Mezco Me is still around. So here we are with SH Figure Arts Kuga. As we remove these two, just for bonus, I'm gonna put my main man Walter in there. Uh, the King of the Meatless Men, uh, a Kid Bash 2 together. So here we are with Cosmic Walter. Right? As you can see, 
legions wise are bigger but still pretty nice i would try to put more stuff into the size comparisons as i work out this camera issue as but i like what, what's going on with 30 but unfortunately if i get really big characters that's going to be tough to do so i'm going to try to work it out in the meantime guys i want to say thank you for watching thank you for enjoying and as always please be good do good drink your water guys later